Because, let me tell you something. I almost take him away from you now. Because the man came to Jamaica and he was such an eloquent player of rock steady and reggae that up to last year the government asked him for him. So come in right now. We could give them some rock steady now. This one from Alton Ellis. One, two, B flat, 13. Administrations in the past never jumped to recognize what we had. And so it is great for statements to be made from the world outside of Jamaica for Jamaicans to recognize what we have. And so we I'm asking for a round of applause for this occasion and recognition. Gregory Isaacs is Irrefutably, one of our foremost icons. I am one of the artists in Jamaica who is benefiting from my material. I would like to, I have a pension out of my business. Because as a youth, I was scientific enough to register my works, get things published properly, and so on. So now I earn royalties from my catalog. You're not going to run around You have artists before me, however, who are not earning royalties from your catalog. Because they were spiritual, they were creative, and they were and they wicked, and all oh, they had a boss, and the scientific part was not taken care of. I will congratulate the youths them in manifesto, because I've seen a lot of work going into that aspect of it. I have seen people now approaching marketing sensibly, I've seen them approaching publishing sensibly, and so on. So recently, I have been pushing that word right here in the college, sense, because sense is the way to navigate prime time. You need to know what went before. In Jamaica, we're a style and fashion people. I went to Africa on my first visit, went to a university, and I said to them, how do you deal with what you are learning now alongside your tradition? And the young man who is now an architect said to me, ah, my tradition is me. I keep it and I add it what I learn. What we do in Jamaica is we dash away our tradition for the new thing. And we say that gone. Now for those of you who think I'm talking foolishness, let me tell you, when the hurricane Katrina mashed up Biloxi in Mississippi, most of the Americans stood there hungry you know who was feeding them? Jamaicans who still knew how to make bushfire. I'm not joking. Electricity gone. Gas gone. And people stand up, don't know what to do. And my brethren, them don't know how to go to them make fire and get some cursing pan. So do not throw away a cursing pan because you have electric fire. Do not throw away a pen because you have a cell phone. 
dominant cultures that we now call civilizations have exercised power through military and economic might. In many instances, this economic might has actually been derived from exploitation. Arms manufacture actually takes creativity and design. A balance is kept, however, by the artists who at the same time are designing an ode to peace while chanting truth to power about the trampling of human rights by corrupt administrations. This was the unprecedented aspect of Jamaica that put us on the international stage as an island where the majority of the population have African slave ancestry, no military or economic might to speak of, yet created six, six genres of music in under 50 years and showed such progress in athletics that far exceeds our global population percentage. All of this was done, please note, all of this was done before the digital world existed. And the digital world has since that time appropriated the intellectual capacity of the creators of these works. The cultural evolution of the Jamaican perception of the creative art area is improving slowly, but we still have the idea that certain activities are not real jobs. This perception takes a lot for granted. We utilize and consume people's ideas minutely and don't take any notice. For example, you're on a chair. The chair is art. It originated in somebody's mind. It became a blueprint and it was made. When a person or institution was shopping for the chairs, there's a preference for color and shape.